I mean, the markets are down. Dow is down for the seventh day. This is the uh, the biggest downtrend we've had since 2020. Um, the uh, Bitcoin is in the tank. Uh, it has fallen from as high as 60 to, I think it's 33 today. It Six, hit 69 at one point. 69. Yeah. Uh, it is, um, everything is, everything's being sold. It feels to me like the beginning of a recession. It does it. Doesn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. I uh-huh. mean, we've all been sitting here saying, wait a minute, we had a two-year pandemic and everything was shut down and there was no economic consequences out of that on a grand yep. scale. Obviously, it affected yep. businesses and had lots of things like that. But like the markets didn't go down. They went up. Yeah, I know. That doesn't make huh? sense. That's one, of the, that's one of the things in the book that we ask. Well, how could that happen? How could that happen? And then we explain how it happened. Uh, and there is um, uh, one chapter, mon- Modern Monetary Theory, the Fuel for the Global Economic Takeover. And it really is important that you understand um, what's happening to us. Modern monetary theory is truly the the wood, the coal, whatever you want to say, the solar panel for the Great Reset. It is the idea that we can print as much money and spend as much money as we want. And if we have to get the peons, the little people, out of our way so the government can spend the money and not the little people, then that's what we do. Bitcoin is going down today because there was yet another uh, <laughs> another piece of news that came out from the Fed. Last year, I told you when the Fed's first draft policy paper on digital currencies came out, that this would happen, that they are, they are now going to war against cryptocurrencies. Uh, and this is the way it's going to happen. First, demonize cryptos. Yellen and Powell have already done this several times. Uh, They're going to say it's used by criminal organizations. Or they're so volatile, they're robbing investors of value, and they're easily manipulated by markets. (laughs) You know why it's so volatile? Because the government is screwing around with it. They're not secure. It can be hacked. Billions of people's investments have been lost or stolen. And so they have to regulate it. They are already requiring investment platforms now, Coinbase and Crypto.com, to report all transactions to the IRS. And they're moving under the SEC for formal investor reporting requirements as if they were publicly traded uh, traded stocks. Then the next step is to release the Federal Reserve digital currency and make payments by other currencies illegal. This is what they're going to do. I, I outlined this, uh, what, over a year ago on the program, and it is also in the book. And you're seeing it happen now in real time. So why would they do this? Because you cannot print this kind of money without having absolute control over how it is spent. This is where people are missing it. They'll, they'll say, oh, this is great. It's, you know what? It's going to balance the playing field, and it'll get rid of all those bad banks. And it, it'll be great because, you know, I don't care. I'm not spending my money on something that, you know, is illegal. So I don't care if they watch every dime that comes in and out. You, you are not thinking this through. You don't understand modern monetary theory, which we are now operating under which is print as much money as you want. And when inflation happens, don't worry, you can control the price by controlling the money that is spent. And they, to do that, they must have access to your account. They must be able to shut your account down and be able to have you not buy. Hey, meat is really expensive. You know what? Your digital coins are not going to work at the supermarket for meat, except for this meat or this amount of meat. Uh, you know what? We have people hoarding stuff and the government needs that toilet paper. So you can only buy one roll a week and your, your USD coin will buy that. But I mean, you don't need to hoard people. Oh, we're having a, a price spike on cement. Well, that's because too many people are trying to buy their house and build a new house. And, you know, I know that's important, but we have infrastructure to build. So the government needs that cement. So your Bitcoin won't be able to buy cement. That is what's coming. Now, this whole scheme 
is built on the fact that we're the floatiest piece of poop in the toilet. Okay? We, we're all poop. All of the currencies around the world, they all suck. But we're the strongest. Well, that doesn't last forever. See, what they, what they fail to recognize is at Bretton Woods, this happened right after World War II, we set the gold standard. We had all the gold. Literally, we had all the gold. So we told the rest of the world, you're going to use our dollars instead of gold. And they said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? We said, look, we have all the gold, so we'll just print the dollars, and we're going to keep all the gold here. So you just use it as an exchange for dollars. And we had to promise them we will never go off the gold standard. Well, guess what? In the 1970s, we decided to go off the gold standard. Because everybody was told, you can have it all. The big society, the big war machine, whatever you want, you can have it all. But we're going to have to get rid of the gold standard. But then we promised everyone we would be the buyer because we had all the money. So we're not going to be making the refrigerators anymore. We won't be making the cars. You guys make those things and we'll buy them from you. We're going to become a service group. And we promised them in Bretton Woods too. We will never debase our money. Well, we're debasing our money. And eventually, people around the world go, wait a minute. America is having us. We're going into inflation. We're going into really bad times because Americans are debasing the money, debasing the gold. And we're paying the price. We're not getting any of the benefit. Only America is getting this benefit. We're not. Is there anybody else with a better idea than what America said and lied to us about in the 40s and then again in the 70s? Is there any, anybody? Anybody got anything? Well, yeah. China will have something. Russia is working on something. The IMF is working on something. The WEF is working on something. Somebody will come up with something. And as soon as that happens, they sell our dollars. And all of those dollars come rushing back to America. And you have hyperinflation and no way to pay for anything. Now, the Federal Reserve says, well, that, we're gonna, that's why we're going to do, Bit, you know, do Bitcoin. We're going to get rid of all those others. And we're going to make sure everybody has to have a USD dollar, a U.S. digital dollar. And all these banks, oh, you're right, these, bank, these big banks... Oh, they really made a lot of mistakes. So we're only going to have one bank, the Federal Reserve. Well, the Federal Reserve is the five biggest banks. It's not a government institution. It is City. It's Bank of America. It's J.P. Morgan. That's who the Federal Reserve is. Oh, you're going to punish them by making them all just one bank? Oh, boy, they'll learn their lesson, huh? This is what's coming. This is coming quickly, and events will make it move faster. For instance, why is Joe Biden basically giving Ukraine to Russia? He's giving it to them. He, he knows Russia's not afraid of him. He knows that Putin knows this guy's not going to do anything. This guy's not going to do anything. Neither is NATO. They're not going to do anything. Because war resets everything. War is the best great resetter. Changes boundaries, it changes borders, it changes laws, it changes societies, it changes currencies. It changes everything. And in the end, you just want the war to stop. And so you, ex- you accept whatever it is the terms are that you're going to have to live under now. We're in very, very dangerous times. The only way to survive this is to know why they are dangerous times. And they're not dangerous because other Republicans aren't doing their job or the Democrats are all communists. Because that's not true. That's not true. We are being misled and we are fighting over things that are ridiculous. We're fighting over masks, which are not, it's not a ridiculous fight. I'm glad we're all standing up and we're saying, hey, enough of this, because that is fascism. We have to do that. But that's not, this is a distraction. 
the great reset is what we all have to be concentrating on. I urge you to get the book now. It's only available digitally right now, but it, uh, but other copies are going to be coming out soon, uh, and the um, audio book. But you need a copy of this. Glenn's new book. Dot com.